All right, all right, all right, all right. It's time for another poker chip video. You know how we do. My name's Chris. This is my poker chip channel. It's mostly videos about poker chips. Occasionally, I have a video about how to run a poker tournament at home or a home game, poker game, but this is all about the chips because these videos are easy to cut together. What you see in front of you is an amazing ceramic chip set that could only be found on the incredible PokerChipForum.com. An outstanding resource for poker chips. I suggest you go there, join the community, start posting, be positive, say nice things, look at all the beautiful chips and marvel at them, and then get a lot of posts under your belt, and then head over to the classifieds and see what you can see. There's always different stuff available from different vendors, and there's also what we call group buys, which is what this was. This is a custom chip group buy of a ceramic poker chip set produced over by Gene at abcgiftsandawards.com. He also runs brpropoker.com. But you cannot get these on those websites. You can only get them through pokerchipforum.com, and the time has to be right. Right now, there's no group buy available, so this is it. For now, it may come up later, or you may find these later sometime on the classifieds, maybe from me or from someone else. I don't plan on selling these. I just think these are spectacular. These are poker chips that are based on the television show Parks and Rec. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the same thing that the guy who ran the group by thought when I ordered a bunch of chips. Wow, Chris, you must be a mega fan. You must be a super fan of Parks and Rec. Uh, no, I've never, never seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a problem? Do I have a problem buying poker chips? Well, the nice thing about buying poker chips is that you can always resell them if need be, and that's kind of what I do. I, I don't sell chips for profit. I just sell chips so I can get new chips. I'm not selling these anytime soon. I definitely want to play with these. I want to get that needle in my arm and play, play, play some poker uh, with these chips because they are extraordinary. We're going to go through what you see right in front of you, the... The middle five chips are the cash game chips. There's, I have a cash game set and a tournament set. Plus there's all sorts of bonus chips that we're gonna go through. I wanna get going on that. First we have the FRAC 25 cents, the Wamapoke Casino chip, and on the other side is JJ's Diner, uh, world famous waffles. I Honestly, I, having never seen Parks and Rec, uh, feel free in the comments to let me know what each chip means. I'm sure there's little inside jokes you're going to see here. This is a yellow frack. Yellow is a good choice for a frack because it pops. Cannot be confused with other chips. Now, there's also a tournament chip that's yellow. If I ever have this set out as a cash game, I'm not going to use the Parks and Rec set for a tournament because it's similar colors. So never the two shall meet. There's always going to be one of these sets, either cash or tournament, is going to be locked away. Here's the tournament chip for the 1K. Yeah. No spoilers in the comments, by the way. I, I don't want to know what happens. Now we're going to move on to the $1 chip. $1. And you notice that there's two different things, a different thing on each side, which is pretty unique in poker chips. I don't have hardly any sets or it's different on both sides. I love this chip so much. This would make a tremendous limit poker chip set. I think there is one on pokerchipforum.com if you look through the chip prawn. Uh, the edges are not aligned on these chips, but that don't matter because they're just so gorgeous and they cost more money to do that and it's not worth it. That's the $1. Oh, $1 also has a companion chip in the tournament set and it's the 500. Same on the front. Different denom on the back. I'm being super careful not to mix these up. One gets locked away. If there's a cash game going with the Parks and Rec, then we're going to lock up the tournament set and vice versa. This is the $5 chip. Snake juice. Dang. I have no idea what that's in reference to, but it's really cool. And really, to me, this is what custom ceramics are all about, you know? Paying tribute here. You know, I'm not sure who designed this, but it's a, it's a tribute chip, so that's how that works. Snake juice, 5K. Yeah. Let's move on to the $25 chip. It's green. Yeah, and this has a, this has some of my favorite artwork on it here, Pawnee Goddess. I'm sure that has to do with Amy Poehler, right? She's the star of the show. 
Very cool. There's also a tournament. Tournament chip is also green 25. So I'll keep those separate, obviously. And the $100 chip, which in my garage probably would never see the felt, but always good to have. In case we get a high roller who comes in. And look at this artwork. It's some sort of Jurassic Park reference, obviously. I don't know what mouse rat means, but that's cool. And here's the tournament version is also a hundo. All right, and so that's it for the cash game chips. There's a tournament chip that doesn't have a cash game equivalent because it's a 25,000 chip. Now, I know this has to be referencing something in the show. I don't know what Sweetums is, but there it is. Check it out. That is pretty cool. You can't beat them. Sweetums. So that's all the tournament and all the cash game chips. And then they have three other bonus chips, I guess you'd call them. They have a really cool chip called Treat Yourself. And I guess you could use this as a bounty. Or even better, you could use it as um, the seller suggested to me. You could use it as a, a show me chip. So everybody gets a Treat Yourself chip. Same on both sides. And uh, if they want to see a hand that's about to be mucked, they can throw this at them and say, I treat myself. Show me your cards. It's always a good side game to have in a cash game. Uh, I would think these would be one-use chips. I don't think you want to have people doing it all night. Next, you got You Got Jammed. Again, this has to be a, a reference from the show. I'm sure it's very funny. Same on both sides. You could also use this as a show me chip or some other bonus game or some other side game in tournaments or cash. It's just a really cool chip. And finally, we have the bounty chip, which looks standard there, right? And it's chocolate chip, which is good, so it'll stand out in a stack. It's good for a tournament. But on the other side, look at this. This is just awesome. Lil Sebastian, forever, always in our hearts. My eyes are bad. 5,000 candles in the wind. <laughs> You're 5,000 candles. That's got to be something funny from the show. I have no idea what it's uh, referencing, but it's very cool. And so that's it for the chips. Oh, wait. There's even a little bit more for the chips. There's also these bastards. These are actually seating chips. So face down is the Wamapo Casino, and I got 20 of these. So face down, they all look the same, and on the other side is a number for seats. So you have people pick their seats. And I believe I got uh, two tables worth. So then the other table is, uh, let's see how oh, they're all in order. The other table has red numbers. It looks the same on the back. And then on the other side, it's red, you know, the red table and the black table. You can just say this is table one, this is table two, however you want to do it. Very, very cool. All right, let's look at some stacks real quick. Well, since I did the um, cash game for the close-ups, I'm going to use tournament chips for the stacks. These are my three favorite. The blacks. That shiny edge just looks so gorgeous. Gorgeous! And the blues, 500, and the 5K reds. Love these. Let's listen to the sound, shall we? Classic. Classic ceramic sound. By the way, these are all 43 millimeter chips. These are all chunky, big, oversized poker chips. Uh, I think there was a 39 millimeter available back a while ago, but it's not available now. 43 is not available either, but I always love big 43 millimeter chips. Standard size is 39, which is just a bit smaller in the hand. All right, so I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. I like these short and sweet because they're more interesting that way. And last but not least, we have the dealer buttons. Wamapoke. Casino, same on both sides. Uh, these are 60 millimeter, I believe, ceramic. No idea what 70, 20 dollar dealer means. <laughs> Must be hilarious. I think it's kind of funny not knowing, actually. I really appreciate you watching, and uh, don't laugh too much at me for buying this massive poker chip set uh, for a show that I've never watched. I do want to watch it. I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, you know, it's gotta be good, right? It's got some funny, talented people on it. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. Please click like 
and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate you being here, sharing some poker chips with me. Uh, we have turned a corner on this damn Rona, I think. Uh, my in-laws in Nevada just got vaccinated today. They're both under 75, so that's good. So that's progress. Let's get going. I uh, can't wait to get a needle in my arm so I can start hosting again. And uh, certainly there will be more videos once things start getting back to normal. Which they will. Have to stay positive. Cannot stay negative. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm out.